they're all children of girls, Your Honor, and they've continued throughout his history, um, from what we can tell back to Utah. He was my teacher and he was doing things that he shouldn't have been. Nayali Hernandez says she was just nine years old when Gregor was her teacher. Today, 10 years later, she spoke up in court and to us. I didn't know at that age that I had rights to do something. I didn't know that I could fight against him. I didn't know I had that kind of power. How was I supposed to know? I was so young. And Hernandez is far from the first student who says Gregor sexually abused her. Court records show long before he came to New Mexico, Gregor was charged with similar crimes involving his students in another state. But somehow he always ended up back in a classroom. We have a system right now that favors employment rights over student safety rights. It's a real wake up call for the country. Records from a court case in 1994 show when he was teaching in Utah, he was charged with aggravated sexual abuse of a child. But records show the charges were dismissed and he was issued a letter of reprimand from the Utah Professional Practices Advisory Commission. In 2004, he moved to New Mexico and became a teacher at Agua Fria Elementary School in Santa Fe. In 2004, while he's a teacher here in Santa Fe, court records show he takes the kids on a field trip to a museum. It's museum staffers who notified school officials they thought his behavior was really inappropriate. The principal at Agua Fria called for an investigation. Records show Gregor resigned from Santa Fe Public Schools with an agreement the district would give him a neutral recommendation for another job. Court records show the State Department of Public Education issued a formal reprimand, but he kept his teaching license. He ended up in Española teaching again with Hernandez as one of his students. Every time that I know that I'm going to see him, it's like I'm hopeful that he'll admit to it. In 2009, Española police investigated cases involving Hernandez and another student. They turned the case over to the DA and then Attorney General Gary King. Gregor was never prosecuted until now. AG Hector Balderas took the case to a grand jury who indicted Gregor on more than a dozen counts of sexual abuse involving children. The state, I would say more than in most cases, has a very difficult and um, treacherous um, battle coming even close to any sort of proof with regard to any of these cases. Today, Gregor pled not guilty. He is scheduled to go to trial in December. For Target 7, I'm Nancy Laughlin.